Well, the uh, boarding pass is being printed and it's Friday afternoon and we're about to head back. I'm about to head back to Texas, which is always, always makes me happy. Uh, this week is, is usually an organizational week where we elect leaders and we, we write the rules for our Republican uh, conference. And of course, those rules become very important as we have now the majority both in the House and in the Senate. Uh, in turn, we are passing something, and we will be voting on that very, very shortly, just before we leave, uh, something that's been needed to be voted on for almost two years or longer, and that is approving the Keystone Pipeline. Uh, now, I realize that in the Senate, this is a, a political vote to try to help the current senator of Louisiana, but the House is taking a vote independently of the Senate, and I, I will expect to see a bi bipartisan vote and we will approve the Keystone Pipeline, uh, not getting involved in the uh, political side over in the Senate. But it, this is something that is long overdue. We're talking about 42,000 jobs are estimated to come from this, this pipeline. It, it, we're, we'll reduce our dependence on foreign, foreign oil by 40%. This is a, a, a real future for America to have this pipeline supply from Canada all the way down through the Midwest to the refining capacity of, of the Gulf Coast. And, and of course, we in the Gulf Coast will benefit greatly from it. Uh, it's long overdue. I'm happy that we're gonna get this out of the way. Uh, but for the rest of the, the lame duck, we'll probably be, be, be really in the middle of the appropriations process, which being a, a cardinal on the appropriations committee, I'm going to be very busy during that period of time. Uh, and we, we're, it's still up in the air as to what we will go forward with, but we're hoping to do an omnibus bill and get it passed and, and get it. And so we fund the government for the next year. Uh, the Ebola issue is going to come up, especially reimbursing some of the expenditures that mainly Texas has had uh, in the surprise Ebola drop-in that we had at Presbyterian Hospital in Dallas. Uh, and we're going to be looking at the conflicts abroad, ISIS, you know, the ISIS issues and, and all the other uh, foreign operations issues that are, are really weighing upon the American public, and we're very concerned about it. Much of that will probably carry over into the, the new Congress, but some of it will be issues we'll address in this Congress. Uh, it's important that you communicate with me your ideas. Uh, my website is carter.house.gov. Uh, click on that and uh, send me an email. Give me your what, how you feel about the issues of the day. We're always available. We'll try to, from time to time, give that out to you on this boarding pass. Uh, the, the excitement is very large in the Republican side of the House. We have a huge majority, the largest majority since the 1920s in the House. And of course, we're so grateful that we now have a Republican majority coming in in January in the Senate. But between now and January, we have the existing mix. And we still have to deal with Dirty Harry over in the Senate. And he'll be after us and trying to mess with us. And you can just count on it. But we'll get past him because a new day is coming. So I'll see all you folks in Texas. Be there around 8 o'clock tonight. Thanks.